Hi, all. Thanks, everyone, for joining the webcast podcast. Two choices CSP customers must make now to avoid the Microsoft March 1st price increase. Today, we have with us Paige Swain, who is a software and cloud analytics consultant for Crayon Software Experts. Hi, Paige. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Beth. Glad to be here. For those listening, this podcast will briefly touch on what the NCE, NCE agreement is. However, we do have a more in-depth what is NCE and NCE frequently asked questions podcast already available at crayon.com slash NCE. So Paige, let's just briefly review and define these acronyms, and then we're going to jump right into the two choices CSP customers must make now to avoid the Microsoft March 1st price increase. So Paige, what is NCE? NCE is um, the new commerce experience, and it's the latest evolution of Microsoft's cloud solution provider program. Uh, it's a new way to transact seat per seat model Microsoft 365, Dynamics 365, Windows 365, and Power Platform subscriptions. And can you can you go over the main difference between CSP and NCE? Sure. The, the most significant difference between the CSP model and the new NCE model is that Microsoft is now requiring a one year commitment for subscriptions. The monthly option on NCE is still available, but there's a 20% premium in price. So in order to get the best pricing customers will need to commit for a one year period and they can't reduce quantities during that one year period. They will have to pay upfront um, annually. Uh, this is obviously quite a contrast to the CSP program where customers paid monthly and they could change quantities up or down as needed. Great, so Microsoft is really, they're updating the way they transact licenses. So Paige, do we have a timeline on when this NCE goes into effect? Yes, the, the new commerce experience will transition um, throughout 2022 um, and new subscriptions will be mandatory um, to be placed on the NCE program starting March 10th of 2022. OK, so so the way I'm understanding it is March is significant. It's not only the date when the NCE will be mandatory for new licensing purchases. It's also the date when we're seeing this Microsoft price increase. Is that correct? Yes, March 1st, um, Microsoft has announced that there's several products that will have a price increase. Um, Office 365 V1, Office 365 V3, Office 365 E5, Microsoft 365 Business Basic, Business Premium, and Microsoft 365 E3. All of these SKUs are uh, very popular SKUs and most of our customers uh, procure them. So the price increase will affect, I would say, most of our customers. Okay, so I want to connect, I want to connect this transition of CSP to NCE to this Microsoft price increase. So is there a way for these current CSP customers to avoid this Microsoft price increase? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, and customers have a couple of options. The key here is that they really need to make a move in February. Um, the first and that's this month, February 2022. Okay. The first choice is to stay stay on CSP for another year. If customers to stop, decide to stay on CSP, they will need to reset their timeline for the SKUs that are getting the price hike so that they lock in the current pricing from February 2022 to February 2023 before the price increase. Uh, CSP terms will still apply in this case, so reductions can be made at any time throughout the year and um, customers can enjoy the monthly billing. Um, so let me stop you there. Can we, there was a lot of info in a short time. So can you, can you provide an example page so we can maybe think through that one more time? Sure. Um, an example would be if, if a customer had, let's say, 200 M365 E3 subscriptions and they reset the timestamp um, of the subscriptions in their uh, 
Cloud IQ or the current cloud management platform um, to February 2022. Um, that would reset the time clock uh, again from February 2022 to February 2023 and any additional Microsoft 365 E3 purchases made throughout the year um, would have the same price and they would be prorated to February 2023, which is the end date of that subscription. At that time, the customer will then need to transition the subscriptions to the NCE program. Uh, they will then realize the price increase um, and they'll have to make the decision whether they want to pay upfront annually um, or uh, choose monthly and and the 20% premium that's going to be attached to that monthly SKU. So my first choice, I can stay on CSP for another year. However, yeah. I'll need to move to NCE regardless in February of 2023. And yes. then in 2023, I can choose to pay monthly, but all of a sudden I have to pay I have to pay for this flexibility, which is a 20% premium. So let's let's dive into choice two because I'm also reading you can pay you can choose to pay annually, but you have to pay up front. So can you can you deep dive into that for us? Yes. So the other choice that customers have again in February this month in 2022 in order to lock in that pricing is to move to the NCE program now. Um, and when they do that, again, they can lock in the pricing till February of 2023. However, they will have to pay for subscriptions up front for one year and they cannot reduce quantities throughout the year. Um, the other draw to this option is a 5% promotional discount that Microsoft is giving uh, for um, anyone choosing to move to the NCE program. Um, so if you, if you moved this month to NCE, you would not only get current pricing, but you'd get a 5% discount off of current pricing. Um, okay. So, yeah, these are, I mean, these are difficult choices. So you're the expert here. You're the consultant. What, what do you recommend to a customer or what do you typically see your customers decide? So in my experience speaking with customers, um, some customers are interested in staying on CSP because of the monthly billing option and the flexibility of reducing quantities. Um, other customers find the 5% uh, the discount very appealing and um, you know that, that sort of nudges them to the NCE program now. Okay. Uh, so they lock in the pricing plus the 5% discount for a year. Okay. And so I'm I'm starting to understand too why there's consultants. So these are big <laughs> decisions <laughs> and they're important decisions because it impacts the cost to a company. So in my brain, I'm thinking as a customer, I'm thinking I'll, I'll lock in that 5% discount. I'm going to move to NCE. So is there is there something I'm missing there? Because for me, that's the more obvious choice. Yeah, and that's a great option for many customers. Um, however, again, you would have to pay up front. So, um, you know, some customers that aren't able to do that, that's a that's a tough call. Um, and also you can't reduce throughout the year, so you can't change quantities throughout the year. You can always add, but you can't reduce. Um, there's also a 72 hour uh, limit on canceling subscriptions in the NCE program, which is also new. So lots of lots of different things to consider and and new restrictions on the NCE program. Yeah, it, it's going to be very interesting to see how people navigate this journey in the next year. And so I understand the two options. And so I want to think out loud once more as a customer. So I assume most of your customers have subscriptions that expire at different times. So can you provide clarity there? Yes, it's it's definitely going to get messy. Um, as the full transition happens, uh, there will be some uh, CSP customers that have subscriptions that expire um, between now and June. Um, those expiring subscriptions can be renewed on CSP. 
Um, but any subscriptions that expire after June 30th will have to be renewed on the NCE program. So you're absolutely right. Uh, there will most likely be um, many customers that have subscriptions in both programs, the CSP and NCE. Wow, just just when I think you explained it, there's a, you know, it gets a little more complex again. So I I know one thing, I know you have job security for the next few years. <laughs> so we just, I just want to thank you, Paige, though, for taking the time to breaking down this subject and answering our questions. Do you have any final thoughts on this CSP to NCE transition? Yeah, I think customers really need to make the choice this month, February 2022. Um, and the reason for that is they need to lock in the pricing, the current pricing before the price hike. So they really need to understand the options and what's going to fit their organization best. Uh, and February is the month. So February is the month and here we are. So customers, customers have a tough choice to make. So Paige has graciously, graciously worked with our team to provide additional resources, yeah. including visuals and decision trees to walk you yes. through this decision. So all these resources are available now and they're for you at crayon.com slash NCE. Paige and team can also be contacted at crayon.com through our chat bot or email that contact.us at crayon.com. So thank you, Paige. Thank you for being here and thank you for our listeners. And that's all we have today. Thanks all. Thanks, Beth.